Okay, so hi, and if you could see my floor, which I know you can, you know, let's overlook that. I don't like these floors. A couple of my, three of my bedrooms in this house, floors look like this as well. Okay, so this is going to be a makeup declutter. This video is being filmed on Wednesday. It's going to go up on Friday, which is the second, I think. I'm getting rid of this. I bought it originally because I was going to, like, blow dry my hair better and curl it under anyway. Not doing that. I was going to use this for, like, Making sure hair dye was combed in. Mm, doesn't work very well. These are old, scratched up. This came with makeup, I think. Don't use it. Um, we've got some polishes here. Not a fan of the color, but it's also streaky, so it's old. We've which oh, it's uh, simple colors in cream pink. This I love pink. Oh, it's not gonna focus. I love pink, but, okay, the focus is better, but, um, this isn't my shade of pink. I've got Broadway Nails High Shine in the shade number 46, Ellie Colors Color Craze, just a shade of black. These are Halloween colors. I love Halloween, but dark shades are very messy. If you see my eyeshadow and hear me talk about eyeshadow, I feel the same way with eyeshadow. I like orange for Halloween, but this isn't the shade of orange I want. I've got some nails. Um, it's 24 count. I used one set. They're too long. So since I'm getting rid of those, I'm going to get rid of this glue. It was a two-pack. And then another one of these. A fingernail file. I've got new ones. Alright, that was the extra crap. Let's go with the makeup. Um, I had bought this last year at some point is the Catrice True Skin, True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid 002 Neutral Ivy. This is way too light for me and I don't do matte foundations with my dry dehydrated skin. I'm older so texture that kind of thing and somebody explained it to me if you watched this video it says hydrating foundation, but it's also matte. How does that work? I've been wearing makeup since I was a teenager. Played with it as a kid, and this right here, I don't understand. Um, I have two The Ordinary coverage foundations. It's high coverage. I've got 1.1 in and then 1.2 in light. These are way too light for me, but I also don't like high coverage foundation for me. I want some coverage, but I don't want it to be high coverage because, again, dehydrated skin, I need to drink more water, I know, and texture kind of thing. So, I'm going to just go ahead and let these go instead of trying to finish them. I have two serums. I've got 1.1 in in the serum foundation, and then I've got the 1.2 in also in serum. Those, I'm going to try to finish. These, I'm just going to let go. I've got a Wet n Wild blush in Nudist Society. It's really pretty. You can see it through the thing, so I don't have to open it. It's really pretty, but I think it's too dark for my skin. I don't mind the shimmer. I wish it was a little bit lighter because it is pretty. This one I'm iffy on. I was dead set on decluttering it. It's the Elf Sunkissed Blush. I don't know um, which formula, but I think it's too dark for me. I remember using it one more time, and you can see I've used this one a lot. I just, I don't know. I'm iffy about this one, so I might put this one aside. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This was a impulse purchase. I don't know why I got it. I'm not going to use it. I definitely wouldn't use this. I would consider using this, but it's the wrong shade. It's way too dark, so I'm going to let that go. We've got a Briorgio Scalp Revival. It's Charcoal Plus Tea Tree Cooling Hydration Scalp Mask. I like the idea of a product like this, but trying to get it in my scalp and not my hair, I'm just, I'm just going to probably just give this one to my daughter. That's, some of this I'm probably going to give to her, like this, see if she wants to brush, things like that. Um, we've got a NYX Shine Loud Rebel in Red. You've got the color, and then you've got the gloss like a paintbrush I don't know why I got this red is just not my color it's pretty but red's not my color 
the elf mint melt lip plumping uh, mint plumping gloss this is really pretty over in different shades of lipstick or even over you know a lip balm but I don't like the feel of a limp plumping anything, so we're just going to let that go. Um, I got a lipstick from Essence. It's number 16, Lovable. I bought a whole bunch of shades of lipstick. I think I got like five or six. This one's way too dark for me. I bought this for Halloween to go with my costume. It's the... What brand? Oh, okay. It's the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in Midnight. I don't like matte liquid lipsticks. I don't like liquid lipsticks, period. And this shade does not work for me. I did buy a lip liner to go with it, which I bought the lip liner after the fact. Like, months after the fact. This is the L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Matte in the shade Curiosity Kill the Matte 104. I just don't really use lip liners. This, they're really pretty, and it would be a good combination, but I just don't use um, lip liners like that. Then I've got the LA Colors Lip Liner Pencil in Forever Red. I bought it to go with this. It's a good, this, I was going to say good combination, but it's not. This is too dark to go with this, and again, I bought a cheap one just to see if I would like it, and I just, again, not a fan of red shades and not a fan of lip liners. This came in a subscription box years ago. It's really pretty. Now I'm second guessing. You know what? I'm going to hold on to this. It's blue. I don't know the brand. It rubbed off. Came in a subscription box. So I'm going to put that in the hold off pile. This is the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. The only reason I'm getting rid of this is because I don't like big wands like that. I'm going to see if my daughter, who happens to have just turned 17 today, I'm going to see if she wants this one too. A perfume oil. It was a sample, I think. Yeah, from Sephora. You know how you get the samples, whatever. And you can choose a couple. I don't want a perfume oil. I'll see if she wants that too. The uh, Honey Potion Plus. It's from Pharmacy. It's a hydrating mask with ceramides. The first time I used it, it was okay. The second time, it burned. So, I'm going to just see if she wants it. This was a point perk. I used points from Sephora for that. This is brand new. I love Sigma, but I don't like eyeliner pens. And this is a liquid pen eyeliner in the shade Wicked. I haven't tried it, haven't opened it. I just, I'm not a fan of the pens. The ColourPop uh, BFF gel, Creme Gel Liner. This is in Peach Fuzz. It's too light under my eyes, plus they still break. I've tried one before, like several years ago. Exit, it was white. One of the YouTubers I watched talked about how they got better, but this it still breaks, plus it's too light, so I'm going to let it go. LA Colors Gel Eyeliner in the shade Rose Gold Shimmer. This is pretty. I can't remember why I was declaring it. You know what? I'm going to keep this and put it aside. And if y'all know how to sharpen these without this completely breaking, because I have ones like this that do that, and the ones like I have some from Essence that just break when you're trying to sharpen it. If you watch this video and you make it this far, please tell me how to sharpen these without that breaking. The Cody Airspun Loose Powder and Translucent. A few years ago when I found, ooh, it's messy. We're not going to open that anymore. Um, I got into the YouTube and I was talking to one of those, at the time, smaller YouTuber. And she recommended this for dry skin. I wouldn't. Now, to each of their own, I'm not here to tell anybody what to wear, what not to wear. I can only speak for my skin. My skin is dehydrated. I And I think this is too heavy. Um... I think it's too heavy for my face and too, and, and I know it's a powder, but it's too powdery for my texture and all that. So I'm just going to let this go. Plus this is several years old. Now I do have some products that are a little bit old, you know, that are older, 
but if they work for me, I'm going to continue to use them until I notice that they're no good or I finish it, whatever the case may be. But this one just doesn't work. And I've been back and forth with that one for a while. Um, an LYS sample. A lot of my samples come from Sephora. These are too dark. They were too dark for my daughter. I did give her some. And I think the lighter one that I tried, I don't remember how that worked. I'm not even going to bother with this one because it's matte. Here's this. It's really old if you can't tell. But it's, I don't even know if they make these anymore. But I had a couple of these. Size one is smooth, buff, polished. You could tell it's really old. Um, This is the e.l.f. Blush Highlighter Duo in White Peach. Too dark, so I'm going to just let it go. And then we've got Essence the Blush in 20 Bespoke. Too dark. I like these blushes, but this one's too dark. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I don't... It's baked, and I used to not like baked, and this would be fine. But it just... There's no shimmer, and I want shimmer. So these are going to go... And then I have the Essence Precious Petals Highlighter. I don't know if you could see that. I mean, it's pretty, but it's too dark for me. Do I try it again or do I let it go? I have so many blushes, highlighters, and bronzers, especially blush and highlighter. I don't know. Do I let this go or just do I let it go as too dark? Or do I keep it? You know what? It's cute. We're just going to let it go. And then foundation brushes. I used to be into foundation brushes. But a lot of them, well, except for the Real Techniques, they, I don't know if you can see that. But they want to come apart. And also for me, foundation brushes are hard to clean. So I'm out of the stage of wanting to use a foundation brush. And I just use a sponge. And I don't wash my sponges. I just use them for a little while and then I throw them away. So, that is everything. Um, the hair mask, well, the scalp mask, the mascara, the perfume oil, and the face mask. I'm going to see if my daughter wants it. These two eyeliners and this blush, we're going to try one more time. Everything else, we're just going to part with. So... That is my decolor. Oh, and the foundation brushes are just going to go in the trash. And I'm going to see if my daughter wants these. So anyway, um, that's the declutter. Hope you enjoyed. Please like it, comment, and subscribe, hopefully. Have a great day.